What's going on? It's Ed here from ClicksGeek, and today we're going to talk about why your Google Ads are not converting. So at a very high level, there is the Google Ads magic formula. This is something we've, we've coined and we talk a lot about um, both with our clients and other agencies we work with, and it's a simple formula. It's a three-step formula that if you get right, you will do well with Google Ads. The formula is this. Go after the right keywords, so get the right kind of traffic, write compelling ad copy, and then last, send the traffic to a landing page that's going to convert at a high rate to get your cost per lead under control. So if you follow those three steps at a macro level, you will have success within your campaign. Now, let's get more granular. Um, within the campaign itself, there are lots of reasons that uh, your campaign might not be converting. And what do we mean by converting? Meaning you're getting clicks, but it's not converting into a lead for you. So you're not getting conversions. So it, within the conversion tab, within your dashboard, you're seeing zeros. As a percentage, you're seeing zeros. Um, what does that mean? You're not getting phone calls. You're not getting form submissions. Basically, there's a ton of different reasons why that might be the case. If you've broken the magic formula, I'd start there. Um, but if you even go back a little bit further, a lot of times people just don't have the campaign set up properly. They may not have call tracking in place. They might not have their conversion tracking set up. They may be doing the wrong type of geo-targeting that is getting traffic from outside of that, their area. I'm talking in terms of like local business campaigns right now. Um, so their geo-targeting might be off. Their ad schedule might be off. Their budget might be too low as compared to click cost in that market, meaning they are just not getting enough data through the campaign. Um, one thing we talk a lot about is the Google Ads Golden Ratio which is your average click cost to your daily budget ratio. That ratio might be too tight and it might be compressing your campaign. And when I say compressing, it's like driving with the gas and the brake on at the same time. You just don't get much exposure. So therefore you don't get many clicks and with that many clicks, you're not getting leads. And the knock on effect is the campaign just kind of grinds along. It isn't working very well. So that could be a potential issue. Um, there's quality score issues. There is all sorts of different issues. Uh, but I'm going to walk through an instance where, let's say it's us running the campaign. We've identified the correct keywords to go after. So we want to go after bottom of the funnel keywords. I'll give you an example, roofing example. We want to go after roofer near me, roof repair, roofer in Miami, those kind of keywords, as opposed to types of architectural shingles or how long does a 30-year roof last? You get crazy questions like that. It says it in the title, lady, or man, whoever searched that. Um, but those are top of the funnel type questions. We want bottom of the funnel type um, phrases and, and keywords. We want people actively going to Google, or I should say going to Google and actively seeking out the solution as opposed to researching. It, okay, so that's what I mean by getting the right kind of traffic. The next piece is are the ads that you're writing and the extensions that you're using, those things that make your ad beefier, um, are they set up properly? Are you writing enticing ad copy that, that earns you the click in market? So it's not enough that you're just bidding for it. You've got to actually write copy that earns you the click. So are you doing that? And assume for a second you are. So let's assume you've got column A, column B. You're good on the keywords. You're good on the ad copy. It's still not converting on the back end. Now, at that point, you're going to start making tweaks to your landing page. And that's me assuming you actually have a landing page. If you don't have a landing page and you're curious as to why you need one, go search our channel. Tons of videos on uh, landing pages and how to boost up your conversion rate. Um, we show you how to make landing pages. We have a whole course on landing pages. Uh, there'll be a link in the description. But um, assume for a second you've got um, bucket A, bucket B uh, dialed in. Getting good traffic, good keyword, uh, good, good uh, ad copy so your click-through rate is high or your CTR is high. But it's just still not converting on, on the back end in column C, column 3. Um, you're going to start split testing your landing page at that point. Okay. Maybe your, your call to action is not strong enough. Maybe your page needs more social proof. Maybe the headline isn't doing it for you. So there's lots of things, lots of little tweaks that you can test and, um, go through to, to bump up that conversion rate. So that's the steps we would take, um, in order to, you know, figure out the conversion issue, but you got to go in stages. You've got to, Get the traffic first that you want, right? Because if your conversion rate's low on the back end, but you're getting crappy traffic on the first end, that's kind of indicative of bad traffic, right? You don't want bad traffic to, if you're, if you're 
um, getting traffic about architectural shingles and how much a, how long a 30 year roof lasts and um, how to post your roofing resume on, on Indeed, that kind of traffic which is out there, of course is not going to convert on the page. So that's why you want to do this in steps. You want to make sure you're getting that clean traffic first. You want to make sure you're earning it with your good ad copy. And then you go over to landing page. So you want to do the testing and do your tweaking and tranches uh, to make sure you're not kind of putting the cart before the horse, if you will. So, uh, again, tons of reasons why you might not be converting in your campaign. Um, I just went through a bunch of them. You want to think macro level first and then work your way down. Um, but I hope that helps. It's real. It's simple stuff. If you think about it strategically, it gets very complex. If you get in the weeds and you get tunnel vision and you can't see the forest for the trees and you're just looking at your bid strategy and you're looking at all these different things that may not even, not, I don't want to say make sense, but may not even matter if you aren't getting the fundamentals correct. So go back to the Google ads magic formula, keywords, ad copy, landing page, and then you want to go to the Google ads golden ratio which is average click cost compared to your daily budget. Is that ratio wide enough so that you're getting enough clicks per day to get some traction going? Um, if that's not, if that's good and your magic formula is good, then we're going to start looking at things like your geo targeting. We're going to look at your um, device adjustments. So maybe desktop isn't performing well in your, uh, in your niche or for you specifically, you might think about dropping out desktop and upping bidding on mobile. So there's all sorts of things you can do as you go on the campaign to, to further optimize. Um, I would check out videos on this channel about uh, how to optimize a Google Ads campaign or search that or Google Ads optimization, stuff like that. Tons of videos of Rob going in and actually optimizing campaigns and giving you a checklist of things that you should be doing. Um, we also have a Google Ads course. There'll be a link in the description below uh, walking you through how we do everything. Um, and then we also offer management services if that is of interest. We work direct with business owners and also with agencies as a white label provider as well. So this is Ed here from Clicks Geek. Over and out. Have a great day. Take care. Bye. Oh, and if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. See you guys. Bye.